up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be putting together the Harbor Freight 5 drawer rolling tool cart. Um, now, I've put it back in the box just for dramatic effects. Uh, obviously, in the last video, you saw that I took it out of the box. But if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, it is basically going through a few things I picked up at Harbor Freight, as well as how I got this $200 toolbox for 40 bucks. So yeah, let's put this thing together. Alright, so again, for dramatic effects, we gotta... That was loud. Take the box off. Well, bam! There we go. All right. So basically, you have your uh, toolbox top right here, the bottom right there. We have the arms and the supports right here. So I'm gonna put those down on the floor. And then what you're gonna need to do is you'll also have the keys up top. Um, I already have the key right here on my keychain. What we're gonna do is unlock your box. So you get this thing lifted up, obviously you're going to have your struts right here inside the top, the instruction manual right there, and then in one of these drawers, I think it's the bottom one, there'll be all the casters. Oh, here's the handle. And then the bottom drawer is going to be all the casters, but we got to remove uh, this thing so I can get to those. Here is the little side piece that you can fit all of your sprays in. And right here, all the casters and the bolts. Obviously, we've got all four casters here, all the bolts, just making sure everything is where it needs to be. All right, cool. Just because since I did pick this up from the back, I just want to make sure that the person that returned it didn't return it with anything missing, because that would have kind of sucked. All right, guys, now our first step is going to be to install the rolling casters on the bottom of the box, which I'm pointing out right now. Now, a big note that I've heard from other people, as well as from Harbor Freight themselves, only finger tighten these bolts until everything is assembled. Once everything's assembled, then you're going to want to tighten them down. I guess everything has to fit pretty well, so if you tighten the bottom up and then just hope that the top is going to be perfectly aligned, it's not going to happen. So they want you to finger tighten everything. So what we're going to be doing is attaching the four posts now, in the description, it says that make sure the bolt holes on the upper end of the post measure one and three eighths from the top, and the lower holes measure around one inch from the bottom. So, right here, if we go right here, we have one inch from the bottom to there, and the top one measuring one and three eighths. So, that means this is going to be the bottom post, and that's going to be the top. So we're just going to place that down right now, it's going to go on the outside, and then we're going to bolt that in. So as you can see, there's a stationary, those are the civil. So that's going to be the side that's going to have my tray on it. And I'm going to be installing the tray with uh, the side and cross members. So let's get that to that right now. We're going to be using those same bolts that are down there. It's the same ones that you're using on the bottom. see the box top is thrown on nothing is tightened down um, I had to actually go and get a neighbor to help me out because this thing is pretty heavy and I don't think I could have lifted it up by myself um, being as it was so high I mean I could lift it up but I definitely couldn't lift it up four feet off the ground and place it down properly just by myself um, the next step we're going to do is I'm going to be actually installing the shocks on this um, and then once that's done, we can install the corners and the rest of the stuff. All 
So there we go, the top is closed and bam, it's open. You honestly can't beat this box. There's uh, reviews all over YouTube, all over Facebook, all over the place that this is just an amazing box, which it truly is. Um, the quality is great. I'll go through a quick little preview of it. A lot of space up here. Not only is there a lot of space, we also got all these holes there for sockets and pry bars on both sides, both sides, which is great. Obviously, the box itself locks their drawers based on these. So, like right now, can't lock it. That's just, these are there. So when this goes down, the box, you can't open the drawers. None of the drawers can be opened. Once this is up, you can open the drawers. They obviously have their own locking mechanism right here in the side. They seem to slide pretty easily. All right, here you got a bigger drawer, which has a lot of space. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do this without looking at the camera. It makes it difficult. You have a lot of space in this bigger drawer right here. Um, all the drawers have some good weight capacity. There we go. It's a little bit of a deep drawer, and then the one at the bottom is going to be the deepest of them all. Um, the mat's messed up, but it is a, definitely a deep drawer. This is probably where I'm going to be keeping my um, air guns, my torque wrenches, uh, my electric stuff, more of the bigger stuff is going to go there. Um, yeah, so definitely I'm going to get this thing loaded up. Hopefully by next week or the week after that and I'll go through a tour of the box You also have a lot of free space to work up here a lot of a lot, not a lot of people use that space But you can definitely install magnets up here and have your wrenches But yeah guys, I hope you guys like the video I'm trying to make my videos not as long as they usually are I'm trying to be a little bit more entertaining instead of educational. Well, no, I want to be educational as well as entertaining I feel like my videos in the past have been more educational they haven't been very entertaining to watch. So hopefully um, having a little bit shorter of videos with the how-tos and installations, um, you guys would like them. And then obviously you guys are gonna have to obviously tighten down all the bolts on them. That's my last step I'm gonna do. But you don't need to watch me tighten everything down. Um, you saw everything be assembled, so now it's just gotta get tightened down. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Please make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any um, comments or ways that I can make my videos better, please leave them down in the comment section. All right, have a great day, guys.